I, I do see the sector, in my opinion, the sector, and emphasize what I'm saying here, the sector, um, the sector has to stay fairly strong for a number of years. There's too much going on from a technology perspective. And the one thing that this virus has done has um, created a, a resurgence in uh, R&D in the technology space. Uh, things that were on back burners have been pulled up to the front burner and on and on. So there's a lot, there's a lot that um, still has to get done. And, you know, you've got 5G and you've got uh, so much. And after 5G, there will be a 6 and a 7 and an 8G. I, I don't, you know, I don't get any of that. Uh, sometimes I think, you know, 5G, can it get any faster right now than what, you know, but, you know, anyway. So I think the sector is going to maintain momentum. You have to remember when we think about chip makers, we have to remember that if you look at all the technology from gaming technology to a very, very um, aerospace kind of technology, one of the other things that you have from a technology perspective that we didn't have five years ago. Did we have some technology five years ago in automobiles? Yes, but not like we have now and not like we will have five years from now. So it's a whole nother world for chip makers uh, there. So do I think there's momentum? There's got to be. Not because of some brilliant analytics that I'm doing, just because of my, you, you hear me say all the time, I'm a behavioral economist. And when you look, when I look and examine a, a, a business behavior as well as, as consumer behavior, yes, there's room. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.